Hello there, I'm the Star Wars guy, and welcome back to the cantina of Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. We are in the Hyperdrive Bundle account today. I'm very excited because I believe we have an important gear to do, to gear. Right here, look at this, boom, Palpatine Gear 12, what's up? We now have two Gear 12s on our main squad there. Uh, now I shifted gears a little bit with my canteen energy. Of course, we were working on Sith Marauder. And as I was talking to you guys through that, I realized, why am I not putting it on Dooku? So what I'm doing now is I'm doing, uh, you know, five here. Five here, no refreshes on that. But I am gonna refresh his canteen energy and you're gonna see him jump up significantly. What was he at when we started? Maybe rewind it. He was at like 10 or something, one, something like that. I don't know. We're gonna do some big refreshes here and we'll have him seven stars, honestly, probably tomorrow, maybe the next day. Yeah, those uh, were not good drops. <laughs> that was pretty bad, actually. 35, 100. We, with, with a little more luck, we probably would have been over 50, but that's okay. Uh, of course, we're working on Piet down here. Now, here I will do a refresh because he is not accelerated. That was pretty lucky. So I'll do that refresh there. Boom. Five more. There we go. We're getting him there now. Uh, and we have the crystals to spin, so that's nice. Um... Of course, we need to be working on getting everyone to gear 13. Obviously, everyone you see here is gonna have to be gear 13 and then relics on top of that. So uh, the good news is we're done with Phoenix. We don't have to worry about them at all anymore. That's why I took them out of my favorites. Krennic, I think he's just a normal farm, right? Yeah, 9D light side. He's like one of the very last ones. Uh, not worried about him. He shows up in one of the stores too, I believe. Uh, and speaking of stores, let's pop over there and do that real quick. No, thank you. Tons of currency here. What we're doing with this is putting it on Cassian's Ewing. Good ship, fine ship. And we're also putting it on uh, Boba Fett. Really no reason. Just because he's, he's a decent character to have. He'll help us out with, uh, you know, the heists and that kind of thing. So here we're going to spend some credits. We have 4 million credits. That's nice. Our credits have built back up a little bit. Down here we don't have enough for Stark. Hey, look, there's Paplu. Nice. We don't need him in this account yet, though. Uh, maybe ever. So that's unfortunate. Uh, Stark's always there though, so it's not like we're missing anything. Now occasionally Darth Maul will show up here. He's someone we need to start looking out for. And here, uh, it's just, just shard shop currency is all we're buying. And uh, if we hit enough, we can buy some of these credits here too. That's not a bad bad idea either. I don't usually do that. In fact, I almost always forget. Hey, looks like we've got some ship upgrades to do. Now here, again, Looking for Darth Maul in here. And also Vader, but we have our Vader seven stars, so we don't have to worry about that anymore. But for you, Vader, if you don't have him. Top priority. Lots of good stuff in here, but we don't really have the currency to blow on that yet, so let's hold off. We do have a GAC to do. We're gonna be getting to, getting to that in a second. I think I take a look, he, I think I took a look already. He did full clear us, if, if I'm remembering the right one. Um, but the score was not uh, I think we could beat him. Now for mods. Actually, what I've been doing is uh, we farmed mods for a while. We have some mods. They're not the best, but we do have some. So what I've been doing is I've been taking my mod energy. And actually, so my camera perfectly blocks this arrow. You see that arrow? I can't see that. Uh, so what I've been doing is going through and actually trying to farm up all these gray mods, at least to green. And that requires uh, a few refreshes here. So basically, I've just been doing my mod energy refreshing on this slicing material. And you'll see what I mean in a second. I go until the 50 turns to 100, which I think is right there. Yep, so we don't need to do that anymore. And then we can slice, you know, all these little gray mods here. So starting to make the mods we have just a little bit better because, hey, look at that. There you go. Oh, you can't see it. No. Let me get that out of the way. There you go. We uh, we sliced and uh, went from 5 to 11 speed. So that's great there. Great, 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 especially for a green mod. That, that mod, you know, if we slice speed again, we're going to be looking good. And can we get one more? We can. Beautiful. Oh, no. No speed other than that. Uh, I've been I've been in the top 10 of Arena for a while now, and every team I face, our Vader is faster than. So that is actually pretty exciting. I mean, even even uh, Jedi Knight Revan teams, I've beaten a couple of those. Revan's a fast tune, and we outspeed him. So 202 seems low, but you have to remember that he gets um, 8 speed from all of our allies, because they're all Empire and Sith. 
So that's what, I don't know, 30, 40, whatever it is. And then uh, also for the Jedi and Rebel enemies, it just depends on what, what they are as well. So you can get, you know, a lot of speed boosts from that. You could be dealing with a Vader that's 300 speed pretty easily. We do have him modded pretty fast too. My thinking there is I want to be able to pop off that Merciless immediately. And, and with any luck, we, we beat a Jedi Knight Revan team. I believe it was a Jedi Knight Revan team and they didn't get to take a move. Hmm. So we've dropped to 20. That's actually pretty low. Earlier today, we were, I think, number eight for a while. Hmm. <laughs> There's that Relic 8 Mace. He's back. Think we should fight him? Nah, I don't want to. I'm wondering if we can beat this uh, Mando squad here. Let's try it out. We'll pop over to that Gak in just a second. I've been really, really enjoying Arena here. Uh, let's get some debuffs going and then we can hit this Merciless. There you go. So right off the bat, we're looking good. Um, I'd like to probably take out... We'll see if we can call him. Nope, he's tough. He's tough. The next one I'm going to hit is going to be on my girl Infus Nest. And we should be able to take her out right here with any luck. Yes. Two taunts. Interesting. That IG-11 is tough. Let's go ahead and uh, fracture you. So we can focus on you for a second. Give me some stuns. Yes. So once this team starts rolling, it really starts rolling. If we can get 11 out of here. I think we'll be... Nice. Give me one extra hit here, dude. Come on. Man, what are you doing? What are you doing? Nice with a stun. Love it. Come on. Come on. Nice. Okay, very good. Give me that stun on, on Bando here. Stun again. Wow, we're stunning him a lot. He has some weak potency. All right, we got some debuff drops here. We're going to go Merciless. We're going to call you. Come on, come on, come on. Give me that one more call. One more call. She's taunting. And she is tough. Let's go to uh, Palps here. Try to get something on her here. There we go. That's what I needed. Beautiful. We can kill you now. All right. Now we can work on Mando for a second. All right. We did it, guys. Well, probably should have done the, the debuffs there. I don't find a lot of use for Dooku's second special. Um, it's great when you have a bunch of Separatists and when you have the Omega, but... Because then it puts everyone under stealth, but... I mean, for now, I'm not finding a huge use for it. Let's go there. Come on, give me that call. Boom! Doesn't do as much damage as you want when uh, she doesn't have a bunch of debuffs stacked on her. There we go. There we go. Fracture again. Good night. Look at the health on this thing. Man. L3, underrated tune. Underrated tune. Love her. Pre-taunt. And when, when you relic her up, she is just like, she's unkillable. Now, we do have... <coughs> we do have a lot of trouble with Basila teams. And uh, with the Zeta. Because of all the, the tenacity they get. We were able to clean out Darth Revan teams surprisingly easy. I was happy about that. I've been trying to test out different squads. We'll probably try to take out that Darth Revan team if they're still there after we finish our GAC. Now, for fleet stuff, I always find trouble what to spin this on. I think I was working on something in uh, in here for Piet. Yeah, just any of these things. I'm going to avoid spending guild currency on gear for now. So I do want to save that up so I can make sure I can hit Stark every time he shows up. Do a refresh here of this, and we should be able to put this piece on him right now. That was lucky. Level required 73. I'll do better than that, my friend. Let's take you all the way to the top. Very good. His mods, uh, what are we looking at here? 30 speed, perfect. Four, five, nothing. That's got to get changed. Three, five. Do we have another speed triangle? I don't think so, yeah. Speed and health, you know, are we going to go with that set in the end? We'll see. We'll see. 
All right, you guys have been patient. Let's take a look and attack some GAC. Uh, interesting teams here. We do have a uh, Night Sister team here. Probably have to go a little heavier on that Vader for sure. And then a lighter, weird team over here. For some reason, Maul's in this team. Not as worried about that one. Uh, over here, 47. What is Thrawn's leader ability here? Oh, it's not upgraded, so that's not good. Mm, what do we got? Empire allies have plus 5%. I don't have a lot of experience with uh, his ability, but in fact, I think what I'm gonna do Okay, we're gonna build we're gonna build a squad here out of this. Although Vader's leader ability, what's he at? I'm gonna go with Vader's lead. Put Tarkin in there. I wanna go a little heavier on this team, because I it's easy to underestimate those Night Sisters. I don't doubt we'll be able to knock this out pretty quickly. Uh, potentially undersized, potentially soloed. But with the score he put up, I am not really into taking chances. Let's see if we can just freeze her for a minute. If she has the Zeta, I think she dies here in a minute, too. She sacrifices herself. There's one. She might even do it without the Zeta. I'm not up to speed on my Night Sister kits, as you can tell. All right, I don't want to get Talzin out of there, though. Hang in there, Thrawn. Don't, don't do that to me. No. Well, all right. That's fine. No, no, no. We're not playing this. You're not gonna do this to me. I hate the Night Sisters so much. They're gonna kill me. I'm not gonna win this. And now we just burned our best team. Come on. That sucks. I think they did stumble on our Basila team though. Uh, do we have anything that can beat that then? Guess we're gonna have to go Sith here. This is not good. We might not even full clear this. We might not even clear this squad. Now, of course, they're turning me to preloaded. Yeah, okay, really awesome start to this. Give me a stun, dude, come on. The zombie sucks so much. I don't have any, like, Geos can handle it pretty well because you can just strip that taunt right off of them. Over here, I'm just kind of stuck. Come on. And you have Asajj's heal. This is a disaster. Okay, we're gonna abort that. We're gonna try to go to the top real quick, see if we can at least clear ships. I think we lost this one, guys. I think we lost this one. I guess I'm gonna go clones here. Wow. That was super disappointing. Let's go ahead and get Maul out of there quick. She can revive him, but we'll get him out of there fast enough. It won't matter. Interesting. She has a lot. We're, we're screwed. We're screwed. This gag's over, dude. We have no mods on any of our tunes. Our best tunes got killed. I mean, I guess I can throw Phoenix in there. I don't think they have mods on them either, though, uh, at the time when we, yeah, at the time when we put this in here, or what, like when we locked in. Now their turn meter loaded. It's like one of the first times we haven't been able to do anything in GAC. Usually we can clear like a couple teams. Let's get her out of there. Uh, let's put this on you. Mm, yeah, let's take the pressure off. Probably gonna kill him pretty quickly. Give me that expose. Nope. Come on. As fun as Arena has been in this account, Gak has been that much not fun. Yeah, they're just gonna sit there and heal. But we can get Ezra back one more time here. I think that's it, guys. We were just stonewalled. We just don't have the firepower yet to compete. Now, uh, I'm curious how much they outrank us in GP. They don't, actually, so we have more GP than them. 
Nice, 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 nice for them. Uh, terrible for us. So there you go. Leave all your comments saying, dude, you should have, whatever you're going to say down there. I'm ready for it. I deserve it at this point. All right, we're going to attempt this uh, Darth Revan team, though. Let's see what we got going on here. 17, getting close to another Zeta. That's looking good. We'll probably uh, be zeta no escape on Vader when that pops up, so we're actually very close to that. Immune to turn meter reduction, recovers 5% health whenever a dot effect on an enemy expires, and whenever Darth Vader activates Merciless Massacre, dispels stealth from all enemies. That's actually really helpful. So we'll be doing that for sure. Sell. No mods there to sell. All right, let's do this, guys. Redemption, five, four, three, two, one. For the number 10 spot in our shard, let's see if we can beat Darth Revan and the Sith Empire, kind of. We go Merciless. Bastel is in there for some reason. Here we go, guys. For the win. No, he's tough. That's all right. That's all right. Man, we can't fracture yet. I'm going to save that fracture. we we'll probably get a stun here. Come on. Come on. I needed that stun. Oh, we got some turn meter going here. All right, they got fear on us. Yeah, now it's, now it's going downhill quick with all those debuffs. Okay, good. Okay, that's very nice, though. Come on, guys. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Okay. Thanks, Bastila. Really nice job there. Those debuffs stacked up, and they made us uh, die pretty quickly there. Uh, we can beat that team, though. We can beat that team. Just need to try it again later. I think I did beat that team, actually, already once. Uh, some of those teams is kind of a 50-50 toss-up. Okay, this video uh, ended in a travesty, so thank you for being here anyway. I'm the Star Wars Guy. Please subscribe below for more highly entertaining videos of me getting destroyed every day, and I will see you in the next video.